Hey, it's me again. So a few weeks ago, I made a video where I told you guys that after speaking with the bishop of my church, that I'm going to be going to a synod sometime later this year, and that hopefully if things go right, I'm going to be made a subdeacon. I wanted to give an update. Um, so I found out that the synod is going to be in August. It's going to be a three-day um, synod. It's going to go from the 13th of August to the 15th. And um, from what I've been told, I'm going to be carpooling with Father Tim, who is the uh, priest and pastor of my church. And um, we should be staying at a hotel. And he mentioned that one great thing about this hotel is that, you know, we get a free breakfast. So basically, the point is, is that it's going to take place in August, so towards the end of summer of 2019. And... Um, I've already spoken to my employers at work about this, so they know what's going on. And um, I gave them the dates and, you know, we're working it out to where I get those days off. And I just need to check back on the website of my company um, towards the end of the, of, the, of the month. And, you know, there should be no reason for me to doubt that, you know, I got those days off. And if I don't get those days off, you know, worst case scenario, I'll just have to call out on all those days that I can't come into work. I should understand because, you know, I've been working for this company for five years and I've been a hard worker, excuse me, for the most part. So there should be no reason for me to worry about anything. So that's pretty much what's going on right now. So that's pretty much um, all I have to say right now in regards to that. I'm sure that some of you are wondering, you know, you've talked about in your previous videos about how, you know, you haven't been doing well in school. And one, what I'm going to say is that for the most part, my main issue is finances and you know I just can't really pay for tuition right now because my my salary right now is let, let me put it to you this way I only have enough money to um, purchase food every now and then I still live with my parents and they do cook dinners most of the time and anytime they can't I just go out and I get something to eat I'll get Popeyes or I'll get KFC or I'll get Burger King or McDonald's Taco Bell, you know, um, and, you know, I'm trying to save my money for more important investments right now, like trying to get my own place to live because my parents are just driving me crazy right now, and I just got to do what I got to do to get out of this house, so that's what's going on right now, um, yeah, so... That's all that's going on. That's I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on. So the Synod is going to be in August. It's going to go from the 13th to the 15th and towards the end of the summer. And, um, you know, I'm just hoping and praying that everything goes well. Because, like I said before, if everything goes the way that I hope that it goes, I will more than likely be made a subdeacon by the end of the year. And I think it's going to be a great step. Like... A giant step or one giant leap towards the priesthood, you know? You know how they say, you know, that's one giant step for me, that's one step for me, one leap for mankind, you know, when Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon. That's what this, this is what this kind of feels like right now. You know, this is like a step into the future for me. And the future is bright. Because there's the sun right there. So yeah, so... I do plan on recording videos and taking pictures when I go to the Synod. You know, I'll see what I can do and share them with you here on YouTube and on my Facebook page. You know, I'll see what I can do. And with that being said, I will say thank you for watching this video. I'll let you know what's going on later, you know. More than likely, you'll get an update um, when we start going to Maryland because that's where the Synod is going to be in Maryland. So, to be continued. Goodbye and God bless. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Thank you for joining me today. Amen.